I am involved in one thing that I do care about is Sober October. And today happens to be the last day of Sober October. So everyone that's out there who's been on this journey, who's been abstaining from alcohol, abstaining from drugs, abstaining from any other vice you had in your life that you kind of wanted to get in, in control of or to have it, you know, have a sort of balance. Big up you, man. We did it. 31 days of sobriety. And now comes the epic uh, <laughs> uh, bender November, right? Which is, again, I mentioned, I think, the issue i don't really you know what i think most sober october participants i have to speak for myself included i think we're we're probably keenly aware that we're probably not we're probably not addicts but we're probably the, the level below an addict i would say i know i don't give a tissue i would say i am probably a level below addict because the reason why i say that because usually the day after sober october you just go fucking crazy right you go absolutely nuts you just go and do the most the most of all things, you just try and make up for all the lost time that, you know, for all the times you missed out on doing X, Y, and Z, you go out and just do it as exactly as the clock strikes 12, which can be a little bit, you know, a little bit worrying. But that's that's the only thing that kind of gets me a bit bummed out about Sober Toby. You spend the whole 31 days doing really, really good, and then you just go fucking crazy on the, on the last day, which was probably why, I think this is probably why most trainers, they don't really encourage people to do cheat meals, I would assume, in diets, right? You see a lot of trainers will say, no, don't have cheat meals. Just have, just go completely strict your diet, build up a good habit for the month. And then after the month is done, then start using cheat meals, right? Don't kind of relax because the, the theory probably is, is that if you have a cheat, cheat day scheduled in for the Saturday, it usually turns into a cheat day. That turns into a cheat days, right? It turns into Saturday and Sunday. But now I think the more sensible approach is to probably have a cheat meal, right? To probably, you know, have a consistent diet, all the way throughout the week and maybe have for the i don't know for your last for your dinner on the saturday night or something if you want to have a burger and a beer you can right um let your hair down and then kind of get back on the saddle again on the sunday um that's probably the right idea behind those kind of things which i kind of get but yeah so my top is good for the balance like i said i'm good for the balance i bought loads of books i've listened to loads of books um death save alcohol has been quite cool i've saved loads of money of course that's 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 the thing you notice straight away your bank account looks a lot different when you're not Consist consistently buying the odd beer or here, the old beer here and there, whiskey here and there. And for the most part, I think the most money I've spent has been kind of going to events, right? I went to Inferno at the yard the other day. That was really fun. I went to see Richie Horton play at Fall. That was really fun. And that's a, probably the most amount of money I've actually spent on, at an event. Most of my money or most of my time has been spent, how would you say? Has been spent just kind of enjoying what I have in it. Like, I don't know, like, DJ more at home, recording mixes, um, reading some books, right? Um, taking my time and just walking home after work and, you know, uh, taking in my surroundings. It's not the most beautiful place to look around at, don't get me wrong, but, you know, just kind of centering yourself as opposed to rushing everywhere. I felt that a lot. And just generally, you know, it's good for your brain isn't it? to kind of be aware that you can stop at the, you can stop at the, you can stop like that instantly, cold turkey. You don't need to like, you know, go into any kind of rehab clinic uh, you don't need help or assistance um you're not sacrificing all your monies to kind of get back on that saddle yeah i don't know man i love it i love it i love it i love it um it's, it's been a good adventure really and again like i said um I've, white weight wise i'm pretty good i didn't reach my goal of getting under 200 though i got 219 which is you know again i think i probably could have been a bit more strict with my diet i probably would have done the two nine the two two hundred two ten probably I would have done that in 30 days. Uh, but I got down to 219. So I'm finally under the 220, which I'm super happy about. So as you can see from the fucking camera, if you're watching via YouTube, the muscles are coming out. The face is looking a lot more skinnier. So that's a good look. And I'm just going to continue, really, actually. I'm probably going to have a little bit of a drink on a Friday and a Saturday. I'm DJing on Saturday, actually, at the Heathcote and Star for my night, Labatee. So if you're around there, definitely check that out. But for the... What was I going to say? But for the, yeah, but I think for the majority of November, just keep it clean. Um, not No need to kind of get crazy or anything because I think I've got a couple of events I'm going to, like the Innovision Party and a few others. Uh, but there's no need to go crazy after anything else. I think I'm just going to carry on the kind of good behavior until November too because why not, you know? Why the hell not? Um, but yeah, man, it's been, it's, been, it's been a good journey. It's been a really good journey. I've, I've read what? I think I've finished about three, I finished three physical books, two audio books. That's five books in total this month um i've worked out basically every other day so a minimum of five days a week which is what i wanted to do i've ran at least 10 miles a week which is what i wanted to do too um yeah i've, I've done pretty much all i wanted to do so if i've missed out really is the language learning 
and the journaling I didn't get a chance to do or I didn't I didn't I couldn't do really um just because I find journaling quite hard I mentioned it previously before kind of you know sitting down and putting my thoughts on paper just makes me get a bit um you know just get a bit you get a bit freaked out um that's one thing and then what's the other thing journaling gets hard oh and the studying of, of Spanish I don't know man it's just another hobby to kind of include an hour in it's a lot of work in it to kind of do but again I think I'm gonna the, the stuff that I didn't do no no I think the stuff that I didn't do this month for in October I'm definitely gonna do next month in November I'm gonna carry on and start doing that every single day just to kind of give myself a bit more of a routine going forward but yeah I don't have too many things planned for November I have uh oh I have, actually I'm going to tricks curate so tricks is playing an extended set probably about four hours at mixed garage on the 23rd of November that should be quite fun so I'm probably gonna go to that and that's about it really I'm gonna just keep it keep it tight keep it keep it quiet and just kind of kind of roll with the good feelings I had through so far through Sober October. But yeah, but so far, so good, man. No crazy celebrations, no crazy party vibes. Just take it as it comes. And now I think going forward, I have a bit of a stronger practice in terms of... In terms of just doing the alcohol thing on the weekends. Especially on the Fridays and Saturdays. And kind of leaving the Sunday to recover... And then kind of going on, you know, so you're you're predominantly having a good week. I think that might be a good way to go about it. And again, not having alcohol at home obviously helps and with that regard. Um, obviously, it'd probably be more advantageous to have like a bit more of a, be a better self-control, right? And have, imagine, because some people have bars and stuff in their house, so I should be able to do that. But I know me, I know it's not going to work. So I'd rather just not have alcohol at home. And if it means I don't have alcohol at home, you know how I said how lazy I am about getting out and putting on the fucking face paint. It's unlikely I'm going to go out and buy a beer because just I can't bother ordering it on like an Uber Eats or delivery is like, you know, 50% markup on the actual price. So all those things kind of makes you hit a bit of a roadblock and you refuse to do it. So I think going forward, I'm just going to stick to that. Um, no, no alcohol at home. Keep it to the weekends. Um, try and only go to like big events like this event. I'm going to see Tricks on the 23rd of November. So a big club night, so then you're not kind of again expending a lot of money, uh, getting fucked up because you're actually gonna go see a DJ play and loads of that good stuff in between. But yeah, so far, so far, so good, man. If you have any experiences with your sober October, any things that you want to share, let me know in the comments. That'll be much appreciated. But yeah, I've, I've had a good time so far. I'm not sure how else has got on, but yeah, I feel good. I feel good. <laughs>